vapor pressure devices. These devices are currently only found inside ovens. There are two pictures of vapor pressure thermostats. As you can see, a vapor pressure device consists of a file which is a copper tube sealed at one end and full of either liquid or gas. At the other end of the capillary tube, which is this bit here, the copper bit here, is a control. This picture here shows you a complete control with a dial. You find the files either inside the oven itself or across the burner flame like that. The ones inside the, the oven are always attached to thermostats. The ones which sit across the flame are always attached to F S. These flame supervision devices. So when you look inside any oven, you will see two files. One in the cooker body itself and one sitting across the flame. The FSD, the Flame Supervision Device, file works in this way. When you've got a flame directly on the file, the liquid inside the file starts to boil and expand. As it expands, it presses it and pushes out a little piston which works on a lever. As it pushes up on this side, it pushes down on this side. By pushing down, it opens the gas valve, which allows gas to come up, round, and out to the burner. If the file is cold and this valve is closed you can still get a small amount of gas going through the bypass 
this small amount of gas which is going through the bypass allows the burner to light at the low flame when this main valve is closed. If the flame goes out, there's no more pressure on the capillary tube. The spring inside the gas valve then pushes the valve up onto its seat. and closes the gas valve off. That is a flame supervision device inside an oven. The other thermostat within the oven casing itself serves the thermostat. The thermostat controls how hot the oven is allowed to become. The file and tube work in exactly the same way. When the contents get hot, they expand and create pressure on a piston. However, the mechanics within the thermostat work in reverse to the flame supervision device. So, when the piston moves up because of the pressure, because of the heat, then the gas valve is closed because the lever point there forces the valve itself to move down when there's heat. When the oven gets hot enough, this valve completely covers the gas valve and stops any gas getting to the burner. Now if we left it like that, the gas would be stuck. It would come in here and it wouldn't be able to get any further because the gas valve is closed. So within a thermostat, we have a small bypass hole which allows some gas to escape through and go to the burner. When that is the case, we call the small flame the bypass rate. If the bypass has got a blockage, and there is enough heat and pressure in the thermostat to have 
closed the valve then you can see that no gas can get through to the burner in any way. If this situation happens the flame in the oven will go out. How do you test both of these FSDs? Well you test, my apologies, both of these liquid file systems. Well the FSD is tested by turning on the oven, waiting for the low flame to go high, then turning off the oven and waiting 60 seconds. So you've turned the oven on, you've given a flame to the file, the file has got hot, created pressure, opened the valve and allowed gas through. By turning the oven off, The file has had the flame removed, it cools down, the liquid retracts, the spring pushes up and closes the valve. All that happens within 60 seconds. If the FSD is working correctly, then when you restart the oven, it's restarting from cold and it will only give you the low rate because that's the only bit that the gas can get through. If the oven starts up on high flame, then the FSD is broken and the appliance is immediately dangerous. To test the thermostat, you turn the oven on and put it to gas mark five. Make sure that the high flame is present. Once the high flame is present you close the door and wait for five minutes. During that five minutes the file which isn't in the flame it's in the oven itself will get warm and it should get warm enough to push its piston and close the main gas valve. The only gas that can get through when that happens is through the bypass, giving you a low flame. So when you open the door or when you look in the glass window, after five minutes you should see a low flame. If you see a low flame then the thermostat is working correctly. If the flame has gone out completely then the only possible problem will be that the bypass is blocked.